morning, Sebastian. Nice to meet you. You're in Portugal. Good morning. Enriqueta. Enriqueta. <laughs> Pleased okay. to meet you. Okay, are you enjoying the seminar? Oh, it's incredible, incredible here. Okay. I'm having great time. Good. Did you enjoy Fado last night? Fado? I've never heard about that. People have been talking about Fado. What it's is it? It's a sad song. A sad song. Oh, I... But you are all dancing with a sad song. Was it's, it Fado? It's a pity. <laughs> it's, okay. it's a pity, but I, I haven't I had a chance now, to hear it. I, I think, and what about Corfish? Did you taste Corfish? Wait, wait a minute. Do you know these people here? <laughs> They are just silly. <laughs> okay, do you like goldfish? Uh, do you taste it? Yes, I, I, I really love that. <laughs> no, yesterday you, you ate octopus, not goldfish. Okay. Uh, okay. But it looked like a fish. Oh, uh, like a fish? Yeah. Good gracious, octopus look like a fish. Okay, Sebastian and Porto wine. Did you taste some? Yes, last night I had a lot. A lot. Oh, so what? So what? So what? Okay? Portuguese people are strange. <laughs> Portuguese people are just like this. Okay? So nice to meet you, Sebastian. I hope okay. I hope we will have a chance to meet another time. Okay, good. Bye. Bye. Um well, good morning, Alex, uh, from Portugal. Um, I have a question to put to you, so I'm, I'm glad that you've uh, agreed to talk to us today. Um, we hear a lot about communication, yes? Uh, do you think there's too much communication in the world? Well, I think uh, communication is, is a crucial part of, of human being because that's what makes us different from, from animals uh, in a certain way. And as a teacher, I think communication is the very important thing to, to, to work out. Although I think many of the problems of the world nowadays uh, is because of lacks of communication between people. And uh, that's why some misunderstandings have great impact in the world. Good morning, Isabel. Thanks for talking with us today. Um, I have a question to put to you. Um, do you think it's possible to talk and listen at the same time? Because my students often tell me that it is. What do you think on this? A difficult question. Uh, sometimes people are so engaged in other things that they talk but they don't know what they're talking about. Uh, and sometimes they're listening. You think they are listening but they aren't. So it's um, you must be engaged in the topic to listen and talk at the same time. Thank you very much Isabel. Thank you. Do you think there's not enough communication in the world? Well, um, I don't know. Maybe it's up to what you used to communicate. You know, it's, it's up to the men, the communication. I know that a uh, uh, lot of people is, uh, uh, is communicating, but uh, uh, very few of them are listening to what, they are, what the other are, are telling. You know, that's so. It could be a problem in communication. What do you think? <laughs> I'm interviewing you, not you interviewing me. <laughs> it winning is satisfaction, social, sharing, culture. Cooperation. Pleasure. Collaboration. Fun. Communication. Motivation. Challenge. Discovery. But I am I'm not sure about it. Oh wait, once more. Saying one, two, three, because I don't know where.
Ready? Steady. Go. So today we're going to talk about what uh, special talents that teachers should have. Can you tell me about that? Uh, well, when we are in the classroom, we're not just mere teachers, we're entertainers and we're actors as well, I think, because we all have like this role, we impersonate different characters when we're students. Uh, well, we sing when we were students, we perform magic every day, so uh, I think that teachers must have all sorts of special talents in the end. Thank you. So welcome, we're discussing the subject on special teachers, what special features they have in order to be, well, better teachers, what special, I don't know, uh, abilities do you think that teachers should have? Um, in my opinion, they should be very talkative and um, kind of party persons. Yeah, you need to have fun with children and with yourself, of course. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Good morning. Today's topic is the battle between men and women and uh, teacher's profession is very feminized and being a guy uh, and being a teacher, what do you think about that? I think it's too bad that more, um, it's actually very true, uh, most teachers in our school are female and I think it's, it's quite important for students to, there are like equal part of men and women. So. I should. Uh, I think it would, be, it would be good to more. I don't know, guys, men, uh, go to to work to school in school. That's it, Mateo Todorowski for it winning Portugal. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hello. Uh, we are talking about project-based learning and uh, I would like to ask you about your experience with this. Um, I really like using these um, projects in my, with my lesson plans, even mini projects, small projects, because the students are very motivated when we work this way. Um, I like to use videos a lot, I started uh, using it a lot uh, last year and um, I asked my students to um, to use their mobile phones and interview people when um, I, I asked them this is a project that should um, that they can do this here whenever they meet someone wherever in the supermarket on holiday wherever they meet someone who doesn't speak French they should do a mini interview they have a paper that they make them sign and um, so we can post it on the school website after Thank you very much. Uh, reporting from me, Twinning, Istok from Slovenia.